when we started getting together for Neck of the Woods, a really good way to start the ball rolling is to like, hey, let's let's try to rework this old song that we've got. And so I think um, definitely Bloody Mary was one of those songs. It, like it started out as a real sort of straightforward poppy song, and then it got deconstructed when we were in the in the studio with Jackknife. You practically wouldn't be able to recognize it uh, during the swoon days. That song directly resulted from a, a conversation about exchanging childhoods and. Everybody has their own traumas and things like that. I mean, when you say trauma, something that people kind of go right to the darkest one. I'm not necessarily talking about that. I'm just, just everybody has, just life delivers those things. You know what I mean? There are dark bits of childhood and dark bits of your past that you like kind of remember, I think, in the back of your head and you try and figure out how, whether that affects you at all or whether it's, you know, still lingering. And I think musically, it's just sort of, we, we added a bunch of stuff in that just sort of, added to the creepy aspects of the song. It's more sinister than it used to be. And I remember talking to someone whose childhood blew me away how poor it was, you know? For, especially for such a well-adjusted, amazing person. And I wrote Bloody Mary about just wanting to go back there and fix it. <laughs> but you can't. And that's, that's how the idea of Bloody Mary came up, because we were talking about little urban myths and fun games you played as a kid, and this person had no time for that. And so that's how that song came about. It's